duckies, everyone's got finals coming up, including me, so I thought that I'd share some of my grade A gold plus science approved study tips ah, that have helped me maintain a 4.1 GPA for like ever. I can break them up into three areas. You got scheduling, studying, and supplements, or before you do anything though, turn off your internet, like finish watching this video and then block every social media site that you go on. Just kill all of the distractions, only use your computer for typing and research. I have some like blocking sites that you can use in the description. It'll all be there when you're done. I promise it's, it's not going anywhere. Number one, scheduling. Make a schedule and prioritize your subjects. For instance, I know that AP US History and AP Calculus AB are gonna really kick my butt on Wednesday when I have to take those finals. So I have been reviewing those guys all weekend, all week, whereas French and English, which I already kind of speak pretty, pretty good, uh, they are on Thursday, so they can take a back burner. As part of my scheduling, I also have my handy dandy whiteboard. I love it so much. So I write down everything I have to do in the order that I have to do it, and then I cross stuff off as I go along. So for instance, once I'm done editing this video and uploading it, I have my math study guide, and then I have to review four more chapters for A push, and then I have to s review some stuff for physics and that'll be good for studying for today. And I cross it all off and I'm happy and I like put a sticker on my forehead because I'm a great student. And then there's some stuff on my whiteboard that I never cross off so that I remember to do it every single school night. Like I do a little bit of Duolingo for French, take my vitamins, pack my lunch and backpack and figure out what I'm wearing the next day. Heck yeah! Part two, when I'm studying, I always write out all my notes by hand so that it gets into my body. I know that like every English teacher you've ever had has told you that. It works. Do it. And whenever I'm in a hardcore study session, I always do it on an exercise cycle. Now, what's that, you ask? Your small eyes full of wonder? Well, I set my timer to go off every 15 minutes, and when the alarm goes off, I do some exercises. So the set that I usually do is 10 lunges, 10 jumping jacks, 10 crunches, 10 push-ups, 10 squats, and then I, then I stretch a little. This helps me study for a bunch of reasons, like there's more blood flowing to my brain so I can focus more, it keeps me from hurting my body from sitting down too long, and by the time I'm done doing a bunch of squats, I am so ready to sit back down and write about Ethan Frome. Even on days that I don't feel like moving around a lot, I still try to stretch a little every 15 minutes, like some toe touches, shoulder rolls, back to work. So if that sounds like something that would help you study, then I have some simple exercises in the description. Pick your favorite, have fun. I run over my notes once really fast before I go to sleep so that the information is all fresh in my brain, and when I am studying really hard for a subject, I let it consume me. Like I said that my two hardest ones right now are history and math, so I am going over theorem flashcards on the train, I am watching Crash Course when I eat breakfast, I am gazing upon the unit circle when I brush my teeth. Figure out what your resources are and let them devour you. Also, speaking of great resources, KhanAcademy.com, Duolingo for every language basically, and Free Rice for all of your subjects are really great resources. Links below. I'm really pumped up. I want you all to do great on your finals. This one's pretty dorky, but when I'm having trouble with a subject, I try explaining it to my cat. Sometimes just saying it aloud can bring that extra nugget of comprehension. Plus, she's really cute and she purrs a lot and it calms me down. Now, how about some supplements? I know that everyone's super stressed about finals because I am too. So, here's what I do personally to stay calm. I take a whole lot of vitamins normally, but during finals week, I am popping those suckers like they're candy. So, vitamin B in cheese, eggs, fish, bran cereal keeps your stress levels down. Vitamin C in citrus fruit will keep your immune system up so you don't get sick. And calcium in dairy products will help you sleep at night. I drink a bunch of water. If I'm drinking coffee, then I drink even more water to balance it out because caffeine dehydrates you. In fact, if you eat just an apple, that will give you as much energy as one cup of coffee and you won't have a crash later. Apples! When I'm studying in my room, I like candles, I have some essential oils that I let float throughout the room just so that it creates a very, a very calming atmosphere for me to have panic attacks in. Snacks are super important. My favorite finals week snack is a pancake peanut butter banana sandwich. I make a bunch of really little pancakes earlier in the week and then I refrigerate them, take them out, slather them with some peanut butter, slap a banana on it, eat as needed. It's delicious, it's full of protein, it's brain food, I love it, and I have 
some more finals week recipes in the description, along with a handy nap guide in case you need to pull an all-nighter. By the way, that exercise cycle I mentioned earlier is how I pulled two all-nighters in a row without taking any coffee or any kind of caffeine. Doing squats will keep you so awake. Finally, take breaks. When your brain starts feeling tight inside your skull, that means that you can't take in any more information. And it's time to watch TV for 20 minutes or go for a walk. My dog loves finals week because we go for walks like four times a day. That's it for me. So remember, scheduling, studying, supplements. Stay calm, study hard, can't lose. Don't stress out. I love you. My AP US history and my AP calculus AB exams are actually um, on the same day which also happens to be on my birthday, December 17th, this Wednesday. So I just, I just want to know um, what I ever did for Hashem to forsake me like this.